right guys what is up it has been a long time since uh we've made a video on the r33 that's because it's been down uh it's had a lot of problems a lot of issues and now it's back it's fixed it's been what like nine months since we've actually driven it properly um i'm still breaking on the clutch so i can't do any like crazy pulls or anything just yet but i can still get you guys some exhaust clips but yeah i'm gonna turn this around here and uh show everything that's been done so it's a lot of like internal stuff let me go open the door oh okay so i did get a cube Short shifter, I got a, a blue Dragon Ball knob to match the orange one and the Z. Uh, that's the only thing interior wise it changed. All right, so here we go. Where to start? <laughs> um, basically, I shouldn't need a light. We've got, I had to get a new down plate. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see. I don't really have a light I can show in there. And I had the, uh, like, they call it a screamer pipe, but I don't think it's like a real screamer pipe. I had that extended, so it's not, because, you know, I have the BR rev limiter so I can shoot flames and whatnot, so I didn't want flames shooting right into my firewall. Um, I got the new gasket for the turbo inlet, the turbo outlet. Um, two of the studs back here were broken on the back side, the, the block, so I got a new exhaust gasket going all the way across and then all 12 studs brand new the power steering all of the lines were leaking i bought i think two lines and like all four of them were leaking so they're all replaced uh what else did we do um these pcv valves right here this one those were replaced because they're dry rotted I gotta get um, the cool pack harness because there's one that's just messed up. Uh, I got new radiator piping, tubing, whatever you want to call it, because uh, that was dry rotting, leaking. And then one of the grounds for the wires for the fan was bad. Fix that. Um, more of that crap down there was replaced. Fuel, two of the fuel lines right here replaced because they were dry rotted. Um, took this bad boy off, did the, the gaskets on the intake manifold. Uh, I don't just so much was done. I don't even know anymore. So after, with all that stuff, I got a list. I can post it in the description, everything that was done. Uh, it was just so much. And then, so now we have a stage two clutch, competition clutch, and a lightweight flywheel. I think it was 11 pounds. So I'm still breaking that in. Hey, BMW. Uh, still breaking that in. Uh, I did 200 kilometers. I'm gonna go to 800 just to uh, be sure. I did stall it out three times. Um, it, the clutch pedal is so light. As soon as I went to leave the shop, like I saw two of the guys like watch me. I'm like, they know something's about to happen. So I went in, right? <laughs> as soon as I went to let it out, because it felt so light. Boom, just, and I like, I'm so used to driving the Z. I'm used to that clutch. So I did what I did in that car. It didn't work. So I sought it out. They all came running and laughing at me. I was like, ah, yeah, awesome. Um, I got it done. You got to give it a lot of gas to get it going. And it's it's jumpy. It goes. Um, man. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's definitely fun. You can hear a lot of transmission noise on the inside of the car now. It's like a, like a white noise, like humming sound. I'll tell you what, that, that cube short shifter, pfft, it's nice. It's tight. It's very tight. Super tight, and the gears are super short now. The, the lever's still just as high, which is fine now. Um, that doesn't feel like such a long throw. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, did the rear main seal. Um... I don't know. Like I said, I'll put everything in the description. That was the main things. So today, what I'm getting into are these hood pins. Arrow catch hood pins. So I'm going to work on that. That's going to be my project for today. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it though. I got the, the <laughs> Harbor Freight Dremel. So we'll see how that works. 
Uh, this thing, it it sounds like a beast now that there's no exhaust leaks. It sounds so, so good. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this summer as far as like fixing everything. I spent, I don't know, seven grand on parts now. Um, eventually I'm gonna get rid of this piping. Get rid of the piping, get like, you know, the intake manifold that goes straight here so it's not running on the hot side. Yeah, so um, I'll go out, I guess, after I put these hood pins in and get you guys some exhaust videos. Just throw on the video for now until I can actually get into it. But uh, being able to actually like feel the power of this car now, because before it was slipping, like anything above 3,000 RPM, they just slipped. I couldn't, I couldn't get anything moving. So now that it actually pulls, that boost kicks in, it's a beast. Um, I was quarter throttle around 60 mile an hour and it just let loose. Like I had not even half, not even full throttle. So we'll see what happens, but I'm just happy that she's back. I'm gonna put my Senku sticker on today, do the hood pins, and then I guess take it for another ride. But yeah, guys, just wanna give an update cause I think it's been like eight or nine months since uh, we've had a video on the car. So R33 is back. All right, so I've also been doing the hook pins today, like I said. So I've got the templates ready. I've got the holes drilled. I went ahead and cut out some of that. I got the hole drilled on both sides. So now what we're gonna do is, <laughs> I was scared to drill through carbon fiber, not gonna lie. But uh, took my time. So now I have to put the template up top and it's right on this crease of the hood. It's not like a big crease, but it's noticeable. So hopefully it sits pretty flush. I don't know. We'll get into that. I'll, uh, I'll update after I get the, the actual, you know, hood pin things cut out. All right, guys. So dogs want to play. As a boy, go get it. Anyway, it was too, it was like, I finished right as it got dark yesterday. So here we go, hood pins, they're installed. Got the locks on them. They were pain in the butt because there was some frame damage. I don't feel like opening the hood, sorry guys. Um, there was some frame damage on like the brace that goes across the front where like the radiator is. So because of that, um, this would have been mounted here instead of down here. So I had to make adjustments and bend it and beat it and make some modifications and cutting so now it's just about even it's as close as it's gonna get and uh all right and now she's good to go i put my senku sticker on finally we got senku because as you know nickname of the car is senku i gotta put those covers back on because it'll look like doo-doo yeah besides that they're not, they're not pretty good. I, I don't want to do hood pins ever again after that. Like it wasn't just like, oh, cut the hood and then just pop them in the, like the frame rail, call it a day. Hardest part was the frame rail part. Like cutting the hood, I thought it was gonna be the hardest part. It was the easiest part. So yeah, all right guys. I'm gonna cut to some exhaust clips. I'm gonna go get those for you guys real quick. And then, did I show the inside? I got that cube short shifter. I don't know if I showed that off. I mean, you can't see it, obviously. I got the blue Dragon Ball knob. I think I showed that. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some exhaust videos for you guys.